¡Mira eso, Sam! Creo que es el lugar al que llaman la Roca de la Bruja Roja. ¿Es una calavera? Vámonos, Billy, esto no me gusta. The, the depth of it, I think the fact of once we understood the whole story and the way there is a story within a story and there, everything is, is kind of inside itself as it is with kind of with reality. There, there are layers and layers and layers and layers. And I think Sergio's done such an incredible job at creating such a coherent but um, many layered script. Yeah, at the time I don't think I'd read anything quite like it. Um, you know, and there is, it's just got so much, so much, it feels like times I felt like I was watching like a magical fantasy movie and, and, you know, there's this playfulness to it and there's this brightness to it and this surreal magical world, but what the characters are dealing with is, is very, you know, harsh realities and to have the, those kind of combined, I, I think it's really cool. I think we've managed to, you know, make something that... I would think I have not seen something in this time. No, that was enough. Jack? I don't know. I think, I think, I don't think there is necessarily a theme of horror that's scarier than another. I think to, maybe to the people involved, either in life or in the world of the script, I think to have anything bad happen to those that you love is probably the stakes are highest. And I think family love is one of the deepest loves that you can have, for want of a better term. Mm -hmm. And therefore, yeah, I think for the people involved in the story, it is scarier. But to an audience, I think it's probably give or take what the sort of elements of the horror is. Yeah, no, I totally agree. And I think when you're watching film, you know, watching a film is a real you know, empathetic experience. You just, you, you know, you empathise with what's going on on the screen and you kind of put that in your head and, you know, project that. And, yeah, I think having family, you know, family, having bad things happen to family is probably the thing that you would... You know, wouldn't even want to dream about, and and so that you know, I think that makes it very horrifying in in some respects. I think. Nada, nadie, nunca, nos separará. Yeah, uh, working with Sergio was was just a wonderful experience. Um, Sergio is a director, and how he worked with his actors. A very giving uh, director. There was a lot of time that he would spend, and you know, Sergio wanted to make this project, which which is a passion project for him. He wanted to do it the way he wanted to do it, and and with when you deal with such complexities in a script, I feel like having that time before each actor is important, and he wouldn't stop until you know we felt comfortable and he knew he got it right. He directed with, I feel like it shows on the screen. You know, it really does. Absolutely, I think he was, he was always aware of um, striving to, to make the film, as Charlie said, that he wanted to make and not be influenced by the kind of, uh, perhaps more sort of like political needs of like what's, what's expected or even his reticence to call this a horror film, there are horror elements, but if I think people will go expect a certain thing if they go to see a horror film where there's so much more than that, it's a kind of mm -hmm. poetic fable and, um, and so I think Sergio was always, always just, Giving of everyone. Habíamos llegado muy lejos, tras superar muchas dificultades, pero al final encontramos un lugar donde estar a salvo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'd love yeah. to come back. Yeah, yeah, if you have us. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's beautiful. The four months, the, I know, was it four months? Might have been, was it four, four months? months? No, it was 12 three, weeks, yeah, three, three, three months. months. The, three, the three months that uh, I spent in Spain, the country, it just felt like a magical summer, you know? And the people that I got to meet that year, you know, just being in Spain, you know, just so, so, I don't know. I have met some amazing people, and people who weren't even attached to our film. I mean, we got invited 
you know, we came to that festival. The Sun Fun Festival, the Sun Fun yeah. Festival. Just before we started. Um, oh, it was amazing. Uh, and, yeah, we felt very kind of, uh, just very warm. And I just had, I loved, yeah, I love the country so much. And I want to come back. So. Yeah. Y ahora que eres libre, ¿a dónde te gustaría ir? El secreto de Marrubón, 27 de octubre, solo en cines.